How are you doing, beautiful Aquarius people? Okay, welcome to Hassani's Light Work. And what I will be doing for February 15th, what I will be doing for you today are Secrets of the Unk tarot card readings, okay? The Secret of the Unk readings have to do with your past six months to a year ago, what you learned from your past, how your past is involved in your future, present, how your future, um, your future today and moving forward, all right? Powerful, strong, I can't let go of the card, all right? And your foundation. I, I'm mind blown right now because Gemini literally got the same exact cards, okay? <laughs> Gemini got the same exact cards, but in a different order, okay? So I feel very strongly that uh, some of you are dealing with a Gemini um, male partner, okay? Female partner, vice versa, doesn't matter. Um, you're both air signs, all right? So um, I'm being guided here first. You both had... If this is your partner, you both had a very, um, you both kind of had big dreams for your relationship together, okay? You were ready to start something new. You started something new. It was good, but then something kind of happened that changed the whole course of your direction and their direction. Um, someone could have moved away. You could have moved away. You kind of parted ways. Okay, um, but I'm feeling like it's, it was a temporary uh, se separation. All right, your past six months to a year, you have the chariot, also the sign of cancer. All right, this could be someone in your family or you are finding out six months to a year ago, someone in your family has cancer, okay? Um, a mother figure, all right? And it's a heartbreaking, it's a little sad. It's sad for you um, to deal with it. All right, it was uh, hard, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like you managed to um, get through. I'm feeling a lot of hospital visits here, um, procedures, having to go visit them in the hospital, um, having to take trains and buses to go visit this uh, person, and this is in the past. You, what you learn from your past, you have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is a destiny card for me. Um, destiny on a grand scale, I'm feeling like. Very heavy. Um, very, very heavy. Uh, someone could have came across their destiny path in your life. Okay? And it also means that your life is changing. Alright? Your life has changed a lot. Some of you traveled um, to other parts of the world. Okay? You traveled different states. You went to different states to go to school. Okay, um, a lot of you are teaching, um, some, some of you are teaching overseas, you're very far, I'm feeling a very distant feeling um, with this card right now, or you're trying to, you're really trying to reach this uh, person that's not well, you want to get, in, you're trying to get in contact with them, um, I'm feeling that their relation, your relationship with them has, um, in the past was a little, uh, uh, outdated okay um, but you're healing you're willing you're starting a new beginning with them okay you're starting a new beginning with that person all right um, you're trying to be there for them or they're trying to be there for you okay um, Queen of Wands this is someone that is that you could be living with this is an Aries uh, female uh, fire signs are Aries Leo Sag, but the Queen of Wands is is an Aries uh, for me. This woman lives uh, in the same place that you live in. All right, um, she's highly demanding, and I feel like I feel like you've also got the Wheel of Fortune with your relationship with this other female as well. Um, she's highly demanding and uh, with you. Okay, um, something about her. She's kind of, con she has a very um, controlling way of dealing with things and it's making you very tired. She could be a boss, um, a mother, um, somebody that you know in your life, but she's just very controlling. She likes to have control over everything and everyone is how I feel, okay? 
and uh, she's getting on your nerves is how I'm feeling from that. Your future, I keep saying future, your present time future slash future from today forward is the death card. All right, you got major life transformations coming here. Um, some of you are going to be giving birth in uh, very soon. And um, what is this? This is February. Um, I'm getting April. All right. Somebody's also giving birth in March. Okay, I'm feeling March too. All right. Um, uh, pregnancy. Um, you're not getting any sleep. All right. Maybe your baby is moving around a lot. Okay. And um, it's uh, you're you're in planning mode. You're planning your future. You're thinking about a new family. Okay. You're thinking about a new family you could have. Um, you're imagining being married and having everything at your disposal. Okay. That's what you want. And you're willing to go at anything to get it. All right. Whether that means. Um, hmm. Interesting. Whether that means. Uh, uh, this is. You're doing something out of the ordinary. I was being led to say that. Something out of the ordinary to get the funds that you need to start your new beginning. Okay? Alright? Because in the past, how I'm feeling in the past, you didn't have it all. Emotionally um, and financially, you didn't have it all. Alright? Maybe what you had was taken away from you and you want to regain it. Okay. All right. Uh, for your I want to go back to your Queen of Wands again. Um, your past, how your past is involved with this. This Queen of Wands is uh, um, could also be someone who is very nurturing towards you. She's giving you a lot of advice. She's coming in, but the advice that she's giving is something that you've already heard numerous times before. Uh, very repetitive. Um, how I'm feeling that maybe it has not sunk in for you. Okay, so which means, which is probably why you were feeling bothered by this person. All right, you, it's not, they don't want, they don't want to control your life. They just want you to move in the right direction and they want you to be happy. They want to see you happy. Okay, it's like, it's almost to say, um, like constructive criticism. All right, and they're just trying to be there for you. It may rub you. It may like any like like any constructive criti criticism. It may rub you the wrong way, but they mean well. All right, they mean well. Okay, um, with your death card, some of you have entered into new relationships. I'm feeling like um, uh, with a male. All right, um, could be the sign. I don't know if they're a fire fire sign. Could be Aries male, all right, or this is an Aries male you work with that you found out um, got an opportunity to teach in another country, all right, or you got an opportunity to teach uh, English in another country. So congratulations, okay, uh, if that's the case, all right. Um, very very happy for you, um, and uh, good luck, safe travels. Also, this uh, travel. I'm feeling travel card. Um, but I'm feeling like some of you are someone you know is afraid of traveling in a plane. Like maybe they've never been in a plane before. All right. And they're afraid to travel over the water. Because when I look at this image, I see there's a lot of water here. So they're afraid to travel over water. Okay. But they're going overseas. And something about them going overseas is very shocking. Um, because you've known this person to be very reserved. You've known this person to be very reserved in the past. And they're doing something that you thought that they were afraid to do. Or you, this is you, uh, finally coming out of your shell and doing something that you've been waiting so long that you've been probably planning for, for a while to do. Okay. And that's why you got the Ace of Swords here. All right. This is, you've been planning for a while to do this. Okay. Um, again, 
with your relationships, I'm going to come over to the Wheel of Fortune. You had a relationship in the past that was very toxic. It wasn't healthy, okay? And it was causing you um, a lot of pain, and you had to get away from it. But I feel like... I feel like you getting away from it is has not happened one time only. This has happened multiple times, okay? Um, kind of like saying, if you look at the Wheel of Fortune, this is like one cycle trying to complete, then there's another cycle trying to complete, and then you're back in the middle again, repeating the wheel all over again. So it's almost like the wheel is not stopping, all right? It's like you need to take the chariot and move away from a toxic situation, um, something painful, a, a, a abusive partner, okay? A, a very verbally abusive partner, okay? Um, the needing to get away. You keep finding... You, you want to start a new beginning, but you keep finding yourself back over and over and over again, dealing with the same person, treating you, just basically walking all over you. You don't need that, okay? Um, and I'm feeling that um, it could be this it this um, could be the sign of Gemini walking all over you okay all right um, I feel also this person um, Gemini person is not going to ch going to change in their case they would have the wheel of fortune their wheel has stopped in terms of their mental mind in terms of they're pretty set in stone with their thoughts meaning that they're not going to change. They will always be this person. No circumstance can change this person, okay? So trying to change it will um, will only allow you to be in a cycle that you can't get out of. And the death card is all about life changes and moving through cycles. But in the reverse, this would be a reverse situation where um, you keep finding yourself... Uh, not being they're stuck you're stuck mentally in this relationship finding yourself in this rela relationship you're not letting it die okay you're not letting the relationship die and it it needs to okay it needs to all right i'm also feeling um you've got uh, a past relationship here um with a leo okay you've got a leo pass here um Relationship, and I feel like this Leo is wanting to start something new with you again. All right, um, you're needing to decide whether you want to um, have a relationship with this Leo again, or a, a, a Leo uh, fire sign male, female, female in your life. You're trying to figure out if you really want them back in your life again, and um, because they could have hurt you in the past as well. So you need to decide how you want to move forward with them, all right? Which way to go, yin yang? Which way to good? Should I should I treat them good? How are they going to treat me? Are they going to treat me bad? So it's a lot of back and forth, and also, um, it's uh, being trying to figure out whether you want to take that step with them again, okay? But I feel like something will occur. Um, there's something going to occur for you where it will help you make the, the the choice that you need to make for this relationship. Okay? All right. Um, thank you, Aquarius, for joining me today. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like, share, comment and, um, if you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or you like a personal reading, please contact me uh, via Facebook instant message. All right, then, Aquarius. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.